when people fight for their rights, there is always resistance from those who profit off of other people's oppressions. Direct confrontation is dangerous for protesters. Mocking oppression, however, is often a safer and more effective way of facing oppression. So I'd like to introduce Bill's hero, the only, the only eight-time candidate for president of the United States, the only man with a clear understanding of the vital importance of dental hygiene for national security, the only man who sees the value of time travel research, the only candidate who wears a boot on his head. Please help me welcome Vermin Supreme. <laughs> Thank you, Greg, and thank you, fellow Americans. I am here because I am a presidential candidate. I want to build the country that we all want. Let me assure you, with my basic policies, dental hygiene, a constitutional amendment to require toothbrushing, free ponies for everyone. When we have pony equality with human beings, we will be able to build a pony-based economy. Think how wonderful that will be. And for our concerns about our energy problems, zombie power. Yes, we will harness the power of the undead to run our generators so that we have, have clean, green energy in the purest form in the sense of green energy. And finally, I'm glad to announce time travel research. The wonderful thing about time travel research is when we get it, doesn't matter when we get it, we just get it. <laughs> Let me tell you about my policy for dental hygiene. Our country has been attacked by a huge problem. It's called gingivitis. And we Americans must go out and we must take a bite out of this terrible disease. We must bridge over the gaps that exist in our health care system and we must ensure that all Americans have good, proper dental hygiene. Now, some people may tell you this is actually a secret because we are having the dental hygiene police breaking down your doors at 3 a.m. to ensure that you are brushing. But let me sure that is not a problem. Some people will be upset that we have dental hygiene re-induct education centers where people who are insufficient in their hygiene requirements will be forced to relearn how to take care of their teeth. Although this is not a problem. And finally, some people are concerned about the government-issued toothpaste with a little bit of <clears throat> very harmless but very addictive additives. These are not the problem. We are looking for a strong America with strong teeth and we can produce it. Ladies and gentlemen, a vote for Vermin Supreme is a vote like no other vote you could possibly cast. Because I, with a pony-based economy, ponies, a true pony for every American, we will soon be able to have pony banks, we will have pony credit cards, we will have pony debt, and finally we will be able to create pony credit debt swaps. Imagine how wonderful our country will be when we have pony credit debt swaps. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, we must focus on what is important for our country. Dental hygiene, time travel research, and of course, zombie power. So, <laughs> let me hear your enthusiasm. <clears throat> when I say zombie, you say power. Zombie. Power. Zombie. Power. When I say time travel, you say research. Time travel. Research. Time travel. Research. research. Pony. Power. power. Time travel. Research. Pony. Power. Time travel. Research. When I say free, you say ponies. Free. Pony. Free. Pony. Time travel. Research. Time travel. Research. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, remember when you go to the polls on November 4th, I can be your choice. A vote for Vermin Supreme is a vote which is cast away for no purpose whatsoever. So, this is your opportunity. Vote for Vermin Supreme, President of America.